McKinnis is a very good fielder, like you just mentioned. He always seems to make that play coming across his body, throwing. Yeah, he's kind of small, so sometimes it looks like he's throwing his whole body weight into it. As he bloops this one out into shallow right center field, and it will drop for a base hit. But McKinnis is on with another hit on the day, and the third one at that for this game for the Eagles, which brings us back to the top of the lineup in Dylan Foster, the left-handed hitter for Husson. McKinnis is one of the captains on the team, along with Pat Thibodeau, as you see him rounding first right here. I don't think he's going to stretch into a double, but it's just safe to do. But McKinnis is always a threat to get on base and steal, so look for him maybe to go, maybe Foster even to lay down a bunt. And this guy's also a threat to get on and steal as well. Foster probably the fastest person on the Husson team, as that one's called the strike on the outside corner. As Foster steps out of the box, doesn't really agree with it there. But McKinnis on first now after the bloop single in the right center field. Puts him on. As Locke holds him on and pitches out to Foster. Don't know if that was an intentional pitch out. It looked intentional to me. The catcher was already up and ready to throw. So they must have saw something in McKinnis' lead that might have led them to believe that he was stealing. Time is granted. Locke clearly looks nervous. Foster obviously stole in the first inning, but Locke just doesn't look like himself, the pitcher that we've seen on paper here for the for the Thomas Terriers. And throwback to McKinnis at first. Keep him at bay. As you mentioned, Isaac, he is a threat to steal. And so is Dylan Foster if he gets on. And if they both get on, look out. Can attempt that double steal that they have successfully done a couple times today. Very rarely do you ever see that, even once. And that's an even closer play at first, but McKinnis back there safely. It's always nice to see kind of that small ball coming back, you know, having steals, laying down sacrifice bunts. Jason Harvey does like to run, and he has the players to do it. So to see more and more of that just being aggressive on the base pass is very encouraging. As this one's lined into left field, and it's going to get by the left fielder as McKinnis is going to round third and go home. As Foster goes to second, round second, he's going to third, and it looks like he's going to get in there with sliding with a triple. So the second triple of the game for the Eagles as they go up four to nothing as the RBI triple for Dylan Foster plates another one. Foster just adding to his batting average. He's leading the team in, and he is a threat to get a triple. Normally that could be a double for anybody else, but he did not hesitate around the bases. He didn't really even need to slide when they cut the ball off, but he's got to be safe. No pun intended. Yeah, no pun intended, but I'll take it. <laughs> As Pat Thibodeau steps in on the left side here, looking to drive Dylan Foster in. And maybe it's a good thing that the Terriers save their bullpen just in case because, like you said before, Locke looks really rattled right now. And after coming off that loss they had yesterday to the University of Maine, they kind of look thin pitching. So going through that first game, not having anyone throw from the bullpen is good for them. But they might need them the second game because you still want to be competitive and still want to win. You don't want this thing to be 10 runs, 11 runs. And like you said yesterday, they got shellacked by UMaine 10 to 2, and then coming here to Husson the day after to play two games. That's very tiring. As Thibodeau lifts this one out to right center field, giving chase is Benedez, and that one's going to get down and gets cut off by the center fielder as Foster comes around to score. And Pat Thibodeau is in there with a the double. So the Husson bats coming alive here in the second game. Just got warmed up in the, in the first game as Husson's already up 5 to nothing here in the bottom of the second inning. Husson looking to equal and possibly surpass their run total from the first game. 